By the year 2004, the epic sports video game battle between Electronic Arts and Sega Sports had really reached its head. The two companies were competing in multiple licensed franchises, perhaps the most visible of these being in the NFL, where you had the Madden series on the EA side of the house versus the NFL 2K series on the Sega Sports side of the house. The Madden series tended to be a bit more simulation-oriented, whereas the NFL 2K series was a bit more accessible for all players. We also had a difference in presentation where the NFL 2K series was working with the ESPN license, so we had familiar faces like Chris Berman talking to us alongside the action. In the NBA, it was kind of the same thing. Uh, NBA 2K games were more simulation aspected versus the somewhat more arcade-oriented NBA Live series. Again, you had fans on both sides of the fence, but the level of quality between the two series was close. In the NCAA for college hoops games, it was the same kind of thing. However, in the NHL, things were a little bit different. NHL 2001, we opened up a copy of that for this particular channel, uh, was basically an extension of the original PlayStation games, just with smoother graphics uh, and more sound. Uh, it was basically like a director's cut of the PlayStation versions of the game or the franchise, and it was really good. Uh, then in 2001, once we got to NHL 2002, things began to shift. The game began to take more on the... Uh, take on more of an arcade feel. We also had some of that amusing commentary uh, that we didn't hear before, so it was more fun to listen to the commentary than it felt like an actual simulation. And this continued for two years, NHL 2002 and NHL 2003. By the time we got to NHL 2004, there had been another shift where it was trying to get back to the serious side, apparently starting to feel some of the heat from the NHL 2K series, and this continued through NHL 2005. Now, I've opened up NHL 2K3 on this show before, and I've opened up ESPN NHL Hockey, which in essence was NHL 2K4. This brings us to the last of the ESPN-branded NHL 2K games, and arguably the best. Behold, ESPN NHL 2K5, published in 2004 by Sega Sports. Uh, this game was only $20 at retail versus $50 for NHL 2005. So if you're looking to play hockey and you're looking to play hockey at a budget, and oh, by the way, you're not really missing anything when you get this. You're actually getting more features, arguably. This was the way to go. And the feature set in this game was really impressive. Uh, exclusive ESPN presentation. Indulge in the enhanced presentation system featuring more commentary from hockey experts Gary Thorne and Bill Clement. That added a level of realism and authenticity that the EA games just couldn't match. Uh, more crowd chants, more music, and yes, Ice Girls. I, I don't get that one, but we'll continue. An all-new party mode, grab some friends and frantically play through 15 multiplayer mini-games and challenges all in the name of becoming King of the Rink. So now we had something different than playing just straight-up hockey. You had other replayability factors that would give you other things to do. Uh, deepest franchise mode ever, live scouting, and that's trademarked. Uh, enhanced minor league management, full coaching staff control, and more. Deliver the ultimate franchise experience. Uh, intense contact controls. Uh, change the momentum of the game with bigger checks, new contact moves, and a fully redesigned full movement fighting engine. There's a dream team challenge in here where they put together teams uh, by uh, Marty St. Louis, Jeremy Roenick, Marty Turco, Chris Drury, Brendan Shanahan, and more. And this was always online, which is a pretty big deal. There were a lot of features here for just $20, and this was a pretty big deal. Unfortunately, this is the last of the ESPN branded games. After this, the ESPN license kind of parted ways because Sega Sports had gone the way uh, had gone to take two, and we were starting to see this develop into just two K Sports. Uh, so the ESPN license went away and would later be picked up by Electronic Arts. Uh, this is a sealed copy, and unfortunately, I have to put "sealed" in quotes because. This is one that has the random uh, security device enclosed seal at the top, so I'm not sure whether this has been resealed or not. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to open this anyway, and we'll take a look at what's inside. And I'll try and do this on camera so you can see. 
So again, this is 2004, so we are now four years into the PS2 era at this point. <laughs> and whoever sealed this did a darn good job of it, because I can't get this open. Uh, talk amongst yourselves for a second. There we go. Finally, I have it. There we go. Okay. So... Uh, because this is a, just a generic security label, we're just going to go ahead and rip it open just like that. Yeah, I don't know whether this is legit or not. But anyway, if we open this up, then I'll put this in front of the camera so you can see it. Let me try and spin the disc around. Oh, uh, are there two discs in here? That would be funny. No, it's just a raised thing. Okay, so let me put that there. All right, so there we go. Uh, the NHL 2K5 manual and the disc. Put that right there so you can see it. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll take the manual out. This feels like it's been used, so I guess this one was uh, it was repackaged. Uh, you can see here that ESPN, the video game, or ESPN Video Games was a brand at this point. Check out the 2K5 lineup. Had their own website. Uh, there isn't a uh, there isn't a registration card. However, you could go to ESPNVideoGames.com. There we go, and you could register your game there. Uh, there's a bunch of information in here if you decide to read it. Although a lot of it's just controls because the NHL games typically uh, tend to be pretty fancy fancy in terms of their uh, control scheme. Uh, as much as you want to be, anyway, you can play it on uh, more simple control settings, but you definitely have uh, more freedom to be complex if you so desire. Um, but I mean, there's a bunch of stuff on here. Network play was such a big deal. Ranked games, battle mode, mini rank, uh, leagues even, uh, which is pretty cool. And that's all you get, really. They talk about the online stuff and they talk about play controls. They don't really talk too much about gameplay modes otherwise in here. Um, they do have the skybox, and I didn't talk about that in the last episode, but the, or the last episode talking about 2K4. Uh, but the skybox is basically like the a place where you can go where you can win games, earn credits, and then kind of fill up your man cave, if it were, uh, with decorations, chairs, furniture, uh, an ice hockey game, or I'm sorry, an air hockey game and more. That's pretty neat. So NHL 2K5, fantastic game. The graphics kind of suffered just a little bit in terms of the player models, but the commentary, tip top. Uh, it, it felt like an ESPN broadcast, and for a lot of people, remember now, ESPN actually did show hockey games still at this time, uh, so it felt like having National Hockey Night in your own house, and you, you really can't beat that feeling if you're an NHL fan. So, this is usually where the episode would end, however. Uh, I came across something that I did not know existed, and I was able to get this sealed, and it is brand new right, right off the shelf. I want you to check this out. This is also ESPN NHL 2K5, but do you see something different? You see that maple leaf there where NHL 2K5 is? This is a Canada exclusive version of ESPN NHL 2K5. Uh, on the back, everything is in dual languages. I know it's tough to see because of the glare, but there are some additional things in here. Uh, the Heritage Classic is here, something that wasn't in the American version. Uh, Canada's next superstar. So they focus a lot of the minor leagues. They talk, they talk up Canada quite a bit for the dream teams. It says here, take on Canadian all-star teams and elite dream teams hand selected by Marty St. Louis, Marty Turco, Brandon Shanahan, and more. So talking about Canadian talent there, uh, the other features are brand new, uh, or, or I'm sorry, not brand new, but they are the same as the game that we just opened. So this was a really neat find. I had found out that this existed uh, a few weeks ago uh, when I was doing research for uh, the 2K series, but I did not think that I'd be able to land myself a copy of this, and I sure did. Uh, and it's a really neat thing to find. And oh, by the way, it is factory sealed. This has not been opened by anyone yet, so we're about to open this for the first time. So this is doubly cool. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this guy open. Uh, and we're going to take a look and see what's inside. I don't think there's going to be much different in terms of what's in here, but we will find out, won't we? Uh, let's see if we can get this open. Of course, this is going to be a big problem, right? And because I already have the first game open, I can't go back. <laughs> so this may take just a minute. There we go. All right. 
So as we get this guy open, there you can hear the plastic cracking, so you know I'm actually getting it open. So there we go. Woo! There is the plastic. Sorry about the delay. We're about 10 minutes in. All right. So again, there is the uh, security label right there. We're going to go ahead and try and get that off. And then we'll take a look and see what's inside. I think this is a really cool idea. I love the fact that there's a Canadian-only version of this. Because the sport is so popular up there, um, it makes sense to go ahead and give Canada its own specialized version of the game. Uh, on the inside, though, aside from the instruction manual, you really can't see much different. Uh, the disc looks pretty much the same. And the manual does have the maple leaf uh, in the right-hand side. So when we go ahead and we take the manual out, and here are the two manuals side by side. I'll try and actually let me do this. So you can see that uh, the difference really is just a maple leaf there. So when we take a look inside, and again, you've got the dual language Spanish and I'm um, Spanish. Hello. Let me try that again. A dual language between French and English there. Uh, and on the inside, uh, it's basically, it, it's bigger because you have an English section and then you have uh, a, a, a French section. But the manual is pretty much the same. So that is pretty neat. Uh, having some additional, or at least one additional game mode being the Heritage Classic, which is pretty cool. Uh, I have not played this. Again, I just got that in the mail today, so I wanted to do uh, this unsealed video to address it. Uh, unfortunately, there weren't any more ESPN uh, NHL games after that. Uh, we wound up going on to NHL 2K6, which lost the ESPN license, and we really started to see the series start to trend down a little bit, especially versus uh, NHL 06, which was a much faster engine, uh, had a lot more to do. Uh, for the PS2, it actually has uh, a version of NHL 94 emulated that you can play. Uh, it's the Genesis version. So having that in there is also a pretty big deal. Uh, so really, this particular period in video game history, in console video game history, really saw NHL, the NHL 2K series at its peak. Uh, from here, we started to see the NHL series for, uh, for EA start to trend higher. We started to see the 2K series trend lower. And now, of course, when we're talking about 2018, the 2K series for NHL doesn't even exist anymore, at least not on console, uh, whereas the NHL series from EA continues to be a yearly thing. So that's where we are. This was a fun thing to do. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed that. I, I certainly thought it was pretty cool to have a Canadian version of the game uh, with French and English uh, to check out. And it's a really neat addition to my library. Uh, we'll be doing more unsealed videos in the coming days, although we do have a heat wave on the way. So it may be a couple of days before the next one. But as always, thanks for checking out my work. I really do appreciate it. If you like what you see, don't hesitate to go ahead and hit the little like thing. Uh, and you can feel free to leave comments all the time. Tell me about your particular experiences with the game. What do you rather? Uh, do you rather the 2K games or EAs? Tell me about it. I'd love to hear from you. Until the next time, everybody.